Ladies and gentlemen, hey hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Over the past few days, we've seen a ton of Season 4 information surface, either via leaks or even through Call of Duty themselves, and uh, pretty much every single day, we are learning new things about the season. And today is once again no different, as thanks to GeneJWE on Reddit, we have got a ton of leaked content to go through regarding some of the new Season 4 DLC maps, the DLC weapons, including some that we haven't seen up until this point, and even more. So, as we break everything down, if you enjoy the video at any point, let me know by dropping a like on it. And of course, if you are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on to stay up to date with the latest Call of Duty news, intel, updates, leaks, and everything else in between. Now, before we get into the massive list of leaks regarding Season 4, I figured we would start with a brand new teaser for Season 4 that shows off even more content that is obviously officially confirmed since it is coming directly from Call of Duty. So just a heads up, this is from an Instagram promotional post for Season 4, so uh, the quality is not outstanding. But regardless, we do see Captain Price at the forefront of everything, which again basically confirms that he is the main operator for Season 4 and thus he will probably be unlocked through the battle pass as an immediate unlock when you buy the pass, and he should also have a tier 100 skin because of that fact as well. Then on the right side of Captain Price, we see Kyle Garrick, aka the new Gaz of this Modern Warfare universe, and we'll actually see both of these characters appear in the leaks that we've got coming up here in just a moment. Now of course, we also have a third operator to the left of Captain Price, and this is an operator that we have not seen before. I don't think we've even seen this character in the leaked files, at least by picture, but we do know there is typically three new operators per season, and these three will be dropping during season four. But that's not all this picture shows. When it zooms out, you can actually see in the background that because of the hangar in the bottom left, this picture appears to be from the military base. And in the background, there is a lot of smoke rising into the sky. And we know that depending on how exactly you're standing at the military base, the areas behind it are either Bunker 11 or the dam area. And uh, maybe you see where I'm going with this. That smoke is probably the aftermath of a missile exploding, maybe the nuke going off, although I feel like that might be a bit bigger maybe. Uh, but this is definitely, I think, teasing something happening to one of those locations in Season 4. We also see the date of June 3rd appear again. This confirms Season 4 will be launching overnight most likely, from the night of June 2nd into the morning of June 3rd, so it will be a larger overnight update for all players. Also, the plane in the background is actually the infill AC-130 that we see in Warzone, and if you look really, really closely, at one point a single player jumps out, and then two players jump together. Truly, I don't know if this has anything to do with maybe a tease for duos, but it is something to point out regardless. Anyways, now we move on into the absurd amount of leaks that we've got regarding Season 4. As always with this stuff, nothing can be shown on screen. To be honest, there's not really all that much to show on screen, but this is a very long breakdown of what we can expect to see. So I'll be linking the full Reddit post down below. Now, GeneJWE, the user who posted all of this, has leaked multiple things in the past. So uh, the credibility is definitely there, and getting into it, the first talking point we see is the weapons. So here, the Galil is brought up once again, and we know this is essentially confirmed at this point, thanks to the initial Season 4 teaser depicting the conversation between al Assad and Viktor Zakayev, but there is also some attachments that are now listed alongside the Galil, and these include a short barrel, a light barrel, a long barrel to offer various advantages, depending on how exactly you want to build your Galil. There's also various stocks that are listed, including the skeleton stock, a heavy stock, and this Galil does also apparently support a no stock option as well for better movement speed. Then there is also some magazine attachments, and those consist of the 45 rounds, which hold 762 by 39 millimeter rounds, and we also have the M6710R mags, which apparently changed the Galil into a semi-auto weapon. And uh, this would basically make the Galil into more of a DMR-like weapon, and I think it could be pretty interesting. I'm definitely excited to see how this ammo conversion actually feels in-game. Now, after that, we see the Vector. This is, of course, also officially confirmed via the latest trailer for Season 4, and here, apparently, Infinity Ward is calling the Vector the Fennec in this game, 
And we also see some attachments here too, including various barrels for range, suppression speed, all the usual stuff. But the Fennec also is said to have a larger suppressor attachment too, maybe kind of like the Colossus suppressor on the Odin, which uh, could be very fun and also a very different attachment to run on an SMG. There's also some stocks, nothing too out of the ordinary, some ammo attachments, including some hollow point rounds that fit the same exact description of the Striker 45s. So maybe just copy and paste there, maybe it is a similar conversion, but the Vector has pretty much all the usual stuff that we've come to see from an SMG. Then we also see that the XM109 has been updated in the files to be called the Rytec or Riddick AMR, AMR standing for Anti-Material Rifle, and this of course is the grenade launcher like sniper, similar to that of the XM25 from MW3. However, we don't have too much excess info on this one, and Gene says that this may actually be the in-season weapon that we see released about halfway through Season 4. Now here is where things get a little bit weird, okay? Uh, there is also a fourth DLC weapon that was also updated in the files, and it's actually the AN-94. This was of course one of the most popular weapons back in Black Ops 2, so I know some people will be really excited about this. But don't get too excited quite yet, because apparently it is unlikely this will debut during Season 4, going off of its progression via the game files. Now, Gene also says that there are some new melee weapons in the files, including akimbo blades and akimbo batons, and these can supposedly have completionist camos unlocked for them, which means they might not just be new blueprints for the knife, and rather full-on new melee weapons, but really only time will tell there. Anyways, moving on, we also have some new maps that were leaked as well, 5 in total for regular multiplayer, and a handful of gunfight maps too. So the first five that we see are called Garden, Broadcast, Oil Rig, Scrapyard, and also Harbor. Now Broadcast is seemingly the same exact map from COD 4 that we've seen in TV Station and Warzone and teased throughout the year already. Scrapyard is actually already confirmed thanks to the Season 4 logo, and Oil Rig is apparently offshore from MW3. However, Garden and Harbor are not as easily identified I guess you could say. And all I can say here is that I really hope one of these is a new ground war map, seeing as we didn't get a new one in Season 3. Then as far as the gunfight maps go, here we see files relating to drainage, townhouse, train, and also trench. So we could definitely see quite a few new gunfight maps introduced during Season 4, in addition to the standard 6v6 and 10v10 ones as well. Gene also goes on to talk about some leaked operators, including Captain Price and Kyle Gaz Garrick, who is said to be simply referred to as Kyle in the operator screen. However, there is also two other names that appear, Rose and Wood, and here Gene assumes that these stand for Rosenthal and Woods, and it's likely that one of those two is going to be that third operator that we saw in the teaser that we mentioned earlier. Of course, Woods is also a very popular name in Call of Duty, Woods, aka Sergeant Frank Woods, is one of the main characters in the Black Ops series, and with all the rumors going around saying how Modern Warfare is teasing COD 2020 in-game, I would say there is a chance, a small one, but a chance nonetheless, that this could be Frank Woods, but definitely take that with a grain of salt. Now there is also a series of files regarding the new Weapon Mastery calling cards, which apparently will be unlocked by completing challenges like getting a certain amount of headshots, kills while sliding, kills while proned, and all sorts of things like that. So there is that as well. Then finally, we also have some game modes that were mentioned, including Juggernaut for Warzone, which actually has Juggernaut crates spawn in, and I guess that's sort of the highlight of the match you could say. There's also Jailbreak, where everyone in the Gulag gets released at set points that could uh, definitely be very interesting. Then there is Team Deathmatch Anywhere, which doesn't have much of a description, so really, your guess is as good as mine on that one. Anyways, with all of that being said, those are effectively all of the major leaks that we just had for Season 4, and that is going to wrap things up for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know by dropping a like on it. And of course, if you're new here, and you want to stay up to date with the latest Call of Duty news, intel, updates, leaks, and everything else in between, feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on, that way you'll always know whenever I upload a new video. As always, if you want to check out any of my partners, be sure to use code IMMORTAL on all SCUF, G Fuel, Control Freak, and Respawn products. 
All of those links can be found in the description below. And once again, thanks so much for tuning in. Until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.